Uh, this, this group likes to play, open gym. You don't have to, you know, kind of prod them to get in the gym. They're, they're there. Um, and then just the, the drills and stuff, they've been, you know, very coachable, want to work at it, uh, come with excitement. And, uh, you know, but this will, now you start with practice, it'll be a whole nother level of intensity, it, you know, and, that, and then we'll just have to see how they adjust the next four weeks. Last year, you used the phrase cautiously optimistic. Yeah. What's kind of your take on that? Well, you know, I think, you know, and the whole reason I was doing that because, you know, I knew we had some issues. And, and, you know, yet our ticket people, they don't want me to say, you know, this, this, and that because they want to sell tickets and they want people excited. So I was trying to use the right, you know, I guess tactfully use a word that, you know, kind of kept a little bit of a a damper on things. And, uh, you know, so I, you know, I, I remember using that word, but a lot of other people don't because they, they kind of blanked that out. But this group, I, I you know, I, I feel good about them. Um, I've said all summer at, at all the events, the catbackers, everywhere I've been, everywhere I've spoke, I think we'll have a better team. Uh, that doesn't mean we have more talent, uh, but we have a, you know, we have a group that enjoys each other and they play hard. Now, you know, the the cautious part is. We, we have an inexperience, and we have a lot of inexperience, and um, so that that's one thing you you know you just got to see. You got to throw them into the fire. We got to have some of those young guys step up. Corby, you know the new guys, including the freshmen, and then you know the I think the next thing has just been injuries. You know that's what you're. I think that's everyone in the country, but uh, you know we've been hit pretty hard. Uh, we have DJ back. Uh, I think he's a big X factor for us. Uh, he, you know, I, I said all, you know, all last year, and if we had DJ, I think we would have won at least two, three more, maybe more games than that because of his energy level and what he can bring to the table, and he would have helped Thomas Gibson and give us some, you know, a, a positive force inside. Um, you know, he's he's back. He's not a hundred percent yet. You know, we had when you don't do something for sixteen months and you had two surgeries, you know, we got to be careful, and he. He went a live workout for about 40, 45 minutes last week. Now we got to watch and see how he reacts. And then, you know, it, we're probably going to, even the scrimmages and exhibition games, we're going to have to be careful for a while because each step is, a, is another level of intensity and another load that you're putting on that, that foot in his body. So we'll have to be a little bit careful with that. Uh, you know, you had some other guys. Corby had a, a, a minor uh, surgery uh, about a month ago he's just coming back Dante's been in the boot finally he's getting out of the boot hit that's been most of the summer so you know those those the inexperience and injuries I think will be a a big factor and then the other thing we need um, the older guys that have experience you know from from the seniors uh, Stephen Hurt and Justin and Brian Rolletter you know to DJ and Wes those guys they have the most experience and we need them to step up and and uh, you know, give us some, uh, give us some of their, their wisdom and their experience, and and really, you know, take another step up and and uh, help the young guys out. Has there been 